Welcome everyone, I'm Katherine Chloe Cahoon and this is Beauty Breakdown. So today I am going to be showing you how to get Taylor Schilling's look from the SAG Award. I am going to begin with my Love palette. I am absolutely in love with this. You'll notice that it comes with many different shadow hues, but today I'm just going to focus on the copper since that's what Taylor is wearing. I'm going to take this copper heart and I'm not even going to use a brush because sometimes I think it's easier just to use my finger to blend. Put a bit on your index finger and then I'm going to take my mirror and I am just going to work it right there onto my eyelid. And because of the fact that the shadow is the predominant look, she's hardly wearing any eyeliner, I want to make sure to blend quite a bit so that it looks nice and seamless. You will notice that she has a little bit of the same shadow dusted underneath her eyes. So I am just going to take the product that's left over on my finger and I'm going to rim it underneath my eye. I honestly feel like I have a bit more underneath at this point than she does, but we will be cleaning that up. That is the beauty of makeup. You can always remove some, you can always add some. I have actually gone on full trips and not even brought a single brush. I'm a huge fan of just doing finger makeup. Okay, so just blend it on in here. Now I'm going to go back with my left eye and put some underneath. Here, I'll give you a side by side. You will notice she actually doesn't even have a traditional top eye line or a lower line. She is only doing her upper water line. So I am going to take my YSL pen eyeliner. It's really great if you have to do a waterline because it actually doesn't get in your eye. So make your eyes really big. Try not to blink because we're going to really want to add a lot of liner to this waterline because of the fact that this is the only liner that we're doing in the entire look. So really extend it all the way from the outer edge to the inner edge. I have to give myself a little break. I am the queen of blinking, which is not a good thing. Whew. Layer it on. And you can see it's just a hint of eyeliner there on the inside. Now comes the left eye. This is much easier though to do on yourself. Whenever a makeup artist does it on me, I always sit there thinking, I will not blink, I will not blink. And you know how when you tell yourself you're not going to do something, sometimes the more you tell yourself, the more you're just, I gotta blink, I can't handle it. Done with my eyeliner. This is a really simple look and it's pretty fast, but as you can tell, it is red carpet worthy. So here's the side by side so far. Now I am going to take my mascara because mascara is always important when it comes to anything where you're going to be taking a lot of pictures because it just makes your eyes pop. She looks to me to have more mascara on her upper lashes than her lower lashes. I'm really going in and I'm putting lots and lots of mascara on. And it's a great look too because as I mentioned, it doesn't take that long to do this and yet you are fully done up. She looks absolutely amazing. So this is a good look to do if you ever have a boyfriend or a husband who says, oh, girls, they take so long with their makeup. Do this look before a big event and all of a sudden he'll be thinking, wow, how did you look so incredible so fast? Because really, Taylor's look doesn't take that many products. Okay, we're done with our upper lashes. Now I'm just going to put a little bit on the lower lashes. I am just going to put it in a half circle, extending it underneath that orbital bone. On both sides, I'm going to get a little more product. Now Taylor isn't wearing a lot of foundation. I have noticed that this is a trend at the award shows that the women are going for more of a natural look. You don't see them tanning as much. You don't see as heavy of foundation. 
And because of that, I'm just going to take whatever extra concealer I have on my fingers and I'm going to blot it onto my skin. She does, however, have bronzer on, but I just don't feel like this look needs foundation and I also don't feel like it needs a lot of concealer. I'm blotting this in right now because anytime you use concealer and you blot it rather than rub, it decreases wrinkles. It's a really good tip. I realize that it takes a bit longer, so if you are in a rush, you may just not want to do the concealer step or just go for it, rub it on in. But we have the time, so why not? We will pat it in. And you will notice that I have some product left over on my fingers. So I'm just going to take that and I am going to blot it around my skin. Just kind of smoothing out all those imperfections. I really love this Charlotte concealer because it gives a very dewy look to the skin, kind of a natural glow. So as you can see, that concealer took care of all of the other fallout that I didn't want under the eye, and it just left a hint of shadow, just like Taylor's. So let's look at this. Here's the side-by-side -side so far. Now let's tackle the brows, because these are bold, and mine are, they're a bit darker to begin with, but I think that we should go in and do some pencil and just go in but heavy handedly. I am really, really adding a lot of color here. I am daring to be bold, because hey, if Taylor did it, we can. Okay, I think it's time for another side-by-side -side comparison. We're coming along. Now for the lips. She is wearing a bright burgundy. You can get a burgundy in any line. Mine is by Bobbi Brown. I'll give you a closer look. And I am just going to straight put it on my lips. This is, even though this is bright, this is a really small lipstick, meaning that it's very easy to apply without making mistakes, without going over your lip line. So let's see how we're doing. Yep, pretty much the same. I don't look like Taylor, but I am doing her makeup. The only thing that's missing at this point is the bronzer. You will see she does have quite a bit of bronzer on. She's defining her cheekbones. So I am going to now take my NARS bronzer. It is my favorite bronzer of all time. And it is called Luster. And I'm going to, I actually am just using a blush brush. And I am going to put it on there and just go to town. Okay, so I'm going to do my cheekbones. Let me get my hair out of the way so that I get my bronzer actually on my skin and not in my hair. Okay, so that completes the look. Let's do another side by side. And I'm actually going to put my hair up like hers. I'm going to do it quickly, but I want you to get a full side by side. She is just wearing a low bun straight back. I can't end without the full look. I'm kind of doing a fake button because I'm just using an elastic. Okay, that's going to have to do. And here we go.